Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 5.6 from his book. And the question is using Thevenin theorem, we are asked to find this I that pass through this 2 ohm resistor. Okay, so now to calculate Thevenin, we need to calculate the open circuit voltage here. And also we need to calculate the Thevenin resistance. So first, let's do Thevenin voltage first. So let's do calculating VTH. Calculate VTH. So we open this and our circuit will become like this. Okay, let's redraw that 9 volt. And I will have 4 ohm here. And I also have 4 ohm here and also I have 6 ohm here okay I have 6 ohm and I have 5 ohm there I will have 5 ohm and here so we open this 2 ohm resistor and let's name this port maybe as port A and B okay now we need to find out the voltage in A and B. Okay, now because there is no current that pass through this 5 ohm resistor, the voltage here will be the same as this here, right? So that means that our VTH is just the same as VAB. But we can find out VAB by using voltage divider, right? We have 4 ohm here. So we have 4 divided by all the sum of this resistance, which is 4 plus 4 plus 6 multiplied by 9. So I will have 4 multiplied by 9 is 36 divided by 8 plus 6, that will be 14. So I will have our Thevenin voltage is 36 divided by 14. 36 divided by 14 is 2.571. Okay, let's save that. 2.5714. Okay, let's keep this Stephanie voltage. Now we need to find out the Stephanie resistance. Okay, calculate Stephanie resistance. Okay, what can we do here is we take out this circuit again. So let me copy this out again. Okay, I have copied that. It's, I don't think that's a good idea. Hmm. Let's do this instead. Okay, why? Why it's copied as image? I don't know. But, okay, let's do that. The thing that we need to do is to replace this one, this voltage source, into short circuit. Okay, maybe. Okay. Mm. I want this to be copied not as image, but let's do that. Nah, okay, that's good. So I can erase this 9 volt here because we want to turn off this voltage source. And turning off voltage source meaning that we have replaced it with short circuit and we can calculate the Thevenin resistance by looking it from here. So this is Thevenin resistance and we, if we are looking from here, we will have the Thevenin resistance will be 5 in series with, okay, so now 5 in series with 4 
but in parallel with 4 and 6. So I will have 4 plus 6. And now I will have 5 plus 4 parallel with 10. Okay. Now I will have 5 plus 4 multiplied by 10 divided by 4 plus 10. That will be 14. And I think we need calculator to get that. I will have 5 plus 40 divided by 14. And that will be 7.857. Have 7.857 ohms. Okay. So the, we have Tevenin voltage and we have Tevenin resistance. That means that we can replace all of this except this 2 ohm with this Tevenin value. So now let's do that. We'll have VTH here plus minus. That will be 2.571 and a resistance. That will be 7.857. This is volt. This is ohm. So we can replace that with this. So I'll have AB. Now we can put back the load resistance, which is 2 ohm here. So let's put that back. So I will have 2 ohm here. Okay, and if we have 2 ohm here, we are asked about the current that passed through that. And that is simply using Ohm's law is enough, right? I will have I that passed through that 2 ohm is equal to P divided by R. I will have 2.571 divided by... 7.857 plus 2. Okay, now what is that? Yeah, the number is not good. So I will have 2.571 divided by 7.857 plus 2. And that will be... 0 0.261 okay 0 0.261 ampere or maybe we can just use milliampere so i will have 261 milliampere so this is the final answer let's see whether we have the same answer as the answer q yeah about the same so yeah I did not make any mistakes and thank you for watching. Hopefully this will help you learn about Tevenin equivalent circuit. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.